Hi friends, my name is Omen Biwaye. In this tutorial, I'll be looking at widgets. Widgets are reusable building blocks used in views to create complex and configurable user interface elements in an object-oriented fashion. Widgets allow you to create a complex reusable code which can be used at different places in your projects. So let's get into creating our widgets. So we need to create a folder in our main home directory, we call it components. And in our components, we create a file, a class, PHP class. So our class name would be, um, let's say, what do you want to call it? Let's say, short word. That's how I call the class, short word, because what we just want to create for this example is a widget that can reduce um, a lengthy word, more, maybe you have a, a um, maybe 100 lines uh, a description of a product, but you just want to redu reduce it to maybe uh, 50 character or 100 character and anything bigger than that or uh, bigger than that, the issue reduce it to 50 and had three dots at the end of it. So I'll call it short or reduce, reduce um, description. Now that's that was our class created. So let's create our namespace. Our namespace is front end, which is where we're front end slash component. Now this needs to move from this point. We will need to move it from this point to front end because we want to make use of it in the front end. Good. So front end components. That will be our namespace. So there are two important um, um, class also that will be important into this uh, file, which is um, one is with widget. And second one we make use of HTML. Good. So we need to extend our class here to widget. We we'll extend it. Um, we'll call it widget. Good. And now we need to declare two files, um, two variable in which we we'll make use of it is our project. So the first variable is going to be the body. We we'll call it body, it's more like the description itself. And the second variable will be count. So I will declare public, call it body, and public count. So let's say our count by default is, um, let's say, 50 character. So there are two important uh, functions in which we need to call in here. One is init, which is to initialize. The second one is to run. So let's quickly create that public function um, init. And the second one is um, public function run. Good. This is public. So now we have our init and run. So our init has been has been initialized for us. Our, the parent here has been initialized. So the next thing we need to do is um, so let's say we have um, <coughs> original body. Let me call it description. Description is equal. This. So because we want to use, um, we want to separate it by word, not by character length. So we need to explode the words that is being passing into the body. So we say, um, it's equal explode. 
which simply means you want to break it by space. Meaning, how do we know where to stop? Maybe five words or ten words. And what are the differences between those characters? We want to separate it by space. Then we'll make use of this body. So we need to count the array. Count um, the description. We call it if it is less than or equal to the count that we have at the top there. If it is less than or equal to 50, you should do this. House, you should do this. So what should you do if it is less than or equal to 50? That means it should just return the body the way it is. That means this should be like that, just the way it is over here. So what happens if it is greater than 50? Then we'll say arrow splice. Then we need to concatenate three dots to hit, which is then we'll save. So let's quickly ex explain this. So what happened is um, as a matter of fact, we might just leave this out just the way it is, like this. So our body is being split, it's been exploded into this variable called the script, the short of description, and which simply means the number of words that is there will be split into this will not become array. So now, since this is array, we now need to count how many array, how many words in there, how many array it's in there. So now, if it is ten, that means it is still less than or equal to um, the count, which is still less than the count. Then it should just return what we have here. And if it is, and if it is. Um, over 50 then what you should do is um, you should slice the array meaning if there were to be 70 words in there and what we need is 50 at the head at the 50 array you should just slice it and just keep the 50 that is that is there and if you will remove the remaining 20 and implode means we use implode there just to join the arrays together. I mean, the words that are in the array. Now it becomes a sentence. A sentence. Now that we understand that it is greater than 50, we have to concatenate three dots to hit. So now, in summary, this will return just the what just the way it is if it is less than 50, and this will return um, the first 50 word in a with. This will return the first 50 word concatenated with three dots and now let's pass it to run so let's um, remove this we say return HTML the code just in case maybe um, when you are using um, HTML and uh, uh, maybe there are HTML in your, in your code so we need to decode it just the way it is. Maybe you have paragraph or anything you have there. Instead of bringing it as just as a plain text, we want it to be decoded. So we say the first part, uh, variable we need to pass in will be the body. Well, the second variable will be the count. So now that we have been able to do what we need to do here, let's go to uh, our page where we want to view it so i uh, will go to our, our view and this is our home page once we go to want to do in such a way that when we click on it now look at this this is too lengthy which we don't really want that 
is to see okay now look at this as, as well this is t is too plenty i mean the the text is much we need to reduce it <coughs> we need to reduce it so let's see how we can easily use that in here so we'll go to our site mm -hmm. index good we are making use of um, lazy view child which is this place <coughs> so now for the description now this is what we need to re replace it with let me remove this and see show us the difference now description is no longer there so let's first of all let's call our the name of the class which is reduce description not something here. What well, the only class we have that is being called in this view is just URL. So let me use reduce description. Or better still, we can include it in here and just call the name. Widgets. So now, the first parameter is um, so the first parameter is um, body. So what do we want the body to be? The body should be the description of this. And why we leave the text? The text, the count should be, let's say, 50 by default. So let's view this and pair to see how it works. Mm, yeah. So what we need to have here is this. So now, because the word is um, the words in here is more than fifty, that's why it's co it's concatenated um, three dots to it. This one is not up to fifty; is just the way it is. This one is less than fifty. So let's say we want to reduce the word to something around um, ten. What is it? Ten or twenty? Yeah, twenty is good. So let's refresh. Yeah good so in this case now we can easily call just this widget anywhere we are in the project we can easily call it instead of writing this set of code over and over again so i hope you understand how this works and you can you know how to use it in a better way um in case you have any question just message me and um share like and code